In this video, we will talk about SAP Analytics Cloud. So, of course, it's a little bit different uh, from S4HANA Central Finance. Uh, but yes, this is an additional product which can be used on top of uh, Central Finance. So, we will also discuss the correlation between the two products. So, as we are moving, we are in video number 21 today. Uh, FAQ format. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share the channel with your peers and colleagues. Uh, we will continue this series. Uh, as I see people are liking the video, people are sharing the video, so very happy and, and also replying to the comments uh, which a lot of people are posting. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead. So first question comes is what is SAP Analytics Cloud? What, what, what exactly it is? So first thing is we used to call it SAP Analytics Cloud. In summary, we say SAC. SAC. Everywhere you will see, okay, we are implementing SAC. They, they say like this. So it's a disruptive cloud solution that allows you to do planning, predictive analytics, and business intelligence in a simple and intuitive business uh, intuitive solution. So it's a planning solution, which also ad adds give you analytic solution. It's uh, always on cloud, as the name says. Uh, you can implement it on top of your S4 HANA system, which can be your CFIN system. I'll explain you in next couple of minutes uh, how does it work. But actually, it's a planning tool. You can do your business intelligence, analytics, reporting, what if analysis, uh, predictive uh, and forecast. So that that's a SAP Analytics Cloud. What are the key capabilities? So let's understand the capabilities. Uh, analytics for cloud and on-premise application without data replication. It utilizes data from SAP HANA for analysis. So you can imagine the speed is fast because it is getting data directly from SAP HANA. Smart discovery and smart analysis capabilities. It gives you predictions. It gives you more smart analysis in forms of dashboards, in terms of, of pie charts. Data modeling can be done within SAC itself. So you don't need to have a data modeling tool separately. Uh, it You just give the data to SAC and you can simply push it, uh, it will simply help you in modeling. Connectivity, you can put, SAP, of course, SAC will be in the cloud, but you can connect your S, S4 HANA system. When I say S4 HANA, it means uh, the database is HANA, and it can be, of course, other, other uh, ECC as well, but yeah, current trend is S4 HANA. So it can you can connect your S4 HANA on cloud or S4 HANA on-premise. So it's a very simple connectivity, uh, which you need to do. Uh, and based on the CDS views, it will you will enable the data movement from uh, S4 to SAC, and in SAC you will have the data for further purposes. Is it feasible on public cloud? Uh, only on public cloud. It can be hosted in private or public cloud. It's ready to integrate easily with SAP HANA and S4 HANA. So it's a standard adopters are there. Standard connectivity is given by standard SAP itself. You don't need to get into you know with your SI with your with technical teams to build custom solution. It's a standard solution. You can host it SAC on your on the public cloud. You can host it also SAC on the private cloud if you have a concerns on data privacy, security, and other aspects. Any use case? Yes, uh, cash management and treasury. It can generate visuals on cash position. Uh, very important. So in current situation, a lot of companies are running out of cash, uh, if you see, uh, due to COVID-19. So yes, you can forecast your cash position. You can take the strategic decision based on uh, your cash, for example. How, okay, some companies did the hiring freeze. Some company did uh, take other measures. Uh, or for example, if the manufacturing is closed, they start exports or imports uh, they, based on their uh, business design. But yes, cash management is important. Account receivable dashboard for customer data to analyze information from various different customers. Geomaps to see receivable performance in different countries. So you can see how my receivables are working per country as well. You have a geographic uh, logic in, in there. So you can you just see, okay, total is my this receivable. Okay, how much my country is performing, which country is going bad, how what actions needs to be taken so that you know you have a strategic direction to the country head or the managing director to ensure things goes well. Accounts payable, same thing. It will help with analysis of report, looking at different dimensions and getting insight from different perspective, including process improvement for vendor management. Why is it there are some issue with the vendors? What are the options alternative for those vendors? So all those analysis can be done. So yes, there are several use case for SAP Analytics Cloud. 
and uh, it is an important aspect of your planning that uh, you plan and forecast well and then you, you do your actual and planned comparison. So before I talk about uh, this slide, uh, this particular area, I will still talk about central finance here uh, as a favorite topic. Uh, so if you have multiple ECCs uh, connected to or non-SAP system connected to S4HANA through central finance and if you implement S SAP analytic cloud on top of central finance, so the advantage you get is all your actual data is coming into one system. You don't need to implement SAC 21 on 21 instances or 150 instances or 10 instances depending on number of SAP ECC or non-SAP systems you have. You just bring all your data replication in actuals uh, in AC Docker table in, SA, in S4 HANA and then you have uh, planned data. So in, in, in that from S4 HANA, the all, the all data of the all ERP systems, what is replicated accounting data will move to SAC and from there it can, it's easily, you know, you can plan for all of all your companies using multiple systems. So you have centralized planning and from reporting perspective, yes, you're the group CFO or the CFO will have a clear visibility on the central system. One, one dashboard providing summary of all the systems what are uh, which on which business operations are running. So yes, there is this is a perfect use case and a perfect fit on S4 HANA central finance use case where you have multiple ECCs operations and you or non-SAP systems and you want centralized planning because planning is a function which is a corporate function generally. Uh, especially the, the the financial planning uh, and it's a very important exercise uh, during the every part of the year planning forecast comparison variance analysis so the and further strategic thinking like predictive analysis what if analysis all that is feasible in sac as we move in the topics so 21 videos are there uh, in terms of faq format this is the sap analytics cloud video i will come up with more videos uh, in similar format feel free to post your questions on the on the video comments and i will pick those up uh, in other videos i have done that in the past as well and don't forget to like subscribe and share the channel stay tuned and happy learning